everyone, welcome back to the Yoga Squared YouTube channel. It's Casey and take a look around. The studio is still here. I just came by to, you know, check the mailbox, make sure all the walls were still standing. And it's here, it's here waiting for us as soon as we have the green light. So this I'm feeling really, really just uplifted and happy at the moment to be here. And I thought maybe you would wanna see the studio too. So today we're gonna to be doing our class from the studio. So feel very excited to teach this class. I almost feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. Who knew, right? That even just coming into an empty room would make you so excited. <laughs> we're gonna get started in child's pose. Let's bring the knees out and the toes together, forehead down. Breathing through your upper back. And allowing your chest to sink low. Breath filtering in and out through your nose, so slow. Good. Take one more breath in here. And as you exhale, we're gonna walk our hands over to the right side of the mat. Slide your shoulders over to the back side of the room. So even though we're reaching forward with our fingers, we're pulling the shoulder blades back. Good. Inhale back through center, over to the other side. So pull those fingers off to the left and then plug the shoulder blades back down the back, creating more length in the underarm. Right back to center. And we'll start to roll our way up into tabletop. Tweeze the knees together. And start to settle yourself into tabletop. Belly goes down, look forward, start to pull the chest through the bicep. And exhale, round and push through the hands. Drop the crown down, pull the nose towards the belly. Inhale, back into cow pose. Shoulder blades move to kiss together. And exhale, push everything upward. Couple more times through. Waking up your spinal column and letting the energy flow through your body. Connecting your breath and your movement together. Good. Now start to settle yourself back into neutral. Walk the hands forward a bit and we'll start to circle out through the hips. You can let the knees bow a little bit wide if you want. Using your exhale to really press those hips back towards the heels. Stirring the femur bones around in the hip sockets. And let's start to move the opposite way. Good, one more time around. And then start to let yourself come back into a child's pose. A reminder, you can come here anytime you want. No reason required, just because you feel like you need to. Turn your palms up, and let's start to tap our fingers onto our shoulders, pushing down through the elbow so we get an opening through the tricep. Keep pulling the spine long. Good, and as you exhale, start to release the forearms down, roll forward, walk the fingers forward a little bit, Come into a seal pose. You're gonna kind of crawl those fingers forward a little bit. The feet are a little bit wider than they would be in Cobra. Arms are almost out at like a V. And we're lifting up through the chest, pulling the belly in and letting the shoulders soften down. Push through the tops of the feet. Don't tweeze through your buns. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, release your forearms down. We're gonna swing those arms out to the side, lift through the feet, shortening through those back muscles. You can keep the arms squeezing back or interlace those fingers and start to pull the thumbs towards the back of your mat. Let's try and get rid of that kink in the back of your neck. Good, inhale, lift up a little higher. And exhale, slow release down. Hands go right next to those ribs, tuck the toes. We're gonna push up either through tabletop or through plank. Take an inhale, exhale back, find downward facing dog. Stepping the feet so that way they're about hip width distance apart. Soften your shoulders and look back towards those ankles. 
letting your inhale make your back feel longer. So when I inhale, I feel like my head is going closer to the ground, but also my hips are lifting up towards the sky. Good. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Start to look forward, take an inhale. You're gonna bend through your knees, walk, step, or jump to the top of your space. Feet will be hip width distance apart. So go ahead and settle your feet into that parallel position. Grab onto opposite elbows and let your head hang down. Swaying left to right, front to back. Good, getting some extra opening in those legs. And begin to float the arms up, stay low, bend through the knees, and then interlace those fingers, pulling the knuckles skyward and resetting the shoulders back to be in line with the collarbones. Good. Start to lift up halfway, inhale, straighten out those legs, see if you can get your torso to be parallel with the floor. Good. And as you exhale, fold back down. You can keep those legs straight if that's available to you. Good. And start to release your hands down. Nice and slow. Wiggle those right. feet together. Inhale, lift up halfway. You can have your fingers on your shins or right next to your toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Find your mountain pose. Squeeze the thumbs backward as you arc through the spine. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes, soften the shoulders. And let's find a little bit of gratitude and hope. Let it start to well up deep within you. And we're gonna take that with us through our flow. Start to reach the arms around and up, deep breath in. And exhale, float your way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, push through your feet, come all the way up to standing, and start to bring your hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reach, nice arc of the back. Exhale, float down. Inhale, nice long spine, halfway lift. Exhale, back into Uttanasana, forward fold. Squeeze your nose toward your shins. Inhale, rise up, push up pelvis forward, close it into heart center, exhale. Inhale, reach and lift, one more of these halves. Floating down as you breathe out. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, rise up, push through the feet. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, float your way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, seal the palms, step back to plank, hold for your in-breath. Feel free to put those knees down if you need to. Pushing forward on your inhale, we're gonna exhale to Chaturanga. Good, inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale back, find Down Dog, couple breaths here. Good. Nice, let's start to look forward, take an inhale. Bend those knees as you exhale, walk, step, or jump forward. Forward fold, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, close it down. And let's rise up, palms reach, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, pull the hands up. Deep breath out, forward fold. Fill yourself up as you lift up halfway. Can you use one exhale to go to Chaturanga? You can step or jump, you pick. Making our way to down dog. And feel free to omit a vinyasa anytime. No need to keep, you know, charging through those if it's not working for you. Good. One more deep breath in. Lift those heels, start to bend the knees. Exhale, walk, step, or jump. Forward fold, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. 
Inhale, rising up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Reach and lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Deep breath in, let's elongate the spine. Exhale, fluid motion to chaturanga, jump or step. Telescope that heart forward. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Back to down dog, exhale. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. We'll step our left foot to the midline. Right leg lifts up to the sky until you feel your glute engage. And then start to open up through your hip. Squeeze that heel towards your glute, turning the right knee skyward. Good. Lift it up a little bit higher. Inhale. And exhale, circle it in towards the belly. And back up. Good. Keep that base leg still. Other direction. Good. And let's start to reach our leg back up, square off through your hip. And bring our knee towards our nose. Shoulders go over fingers. Nose to knee. Good. Extend back up. Inhale. Exhale. Nose to knee. Weight more forward. So good. Right back up. We're going to step through between the hands. Find your high lunge. Good. Arms reach up to the sky. Very nice. Let's go ahead and fold the front ribs in. Equal weight in both feet, lifting up through the fingertips, maybe even bring your gaze up. You should feel a long sensation on your left hip flexor. Good. Full inhale. Exhale, swing your arms back. Find airplane. And I want you to kind of arc up through the chest a little bit. Think locust like we did in the beginning of class. Good. Push through your front heel. We're going to inhale, come right back up. Interlace your fingers, but release the pointer finger up and then lock those biceps next to your ear. Good. Full inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down. Swing your leg up to the sky, finding three-legged dog. You can put it directly down or move through a vinyasa with your toe floating or put your toe down for a regular vinyasa. You pick. So good. Very nice. Now let's lift our left leg up to the sky until you feel that left glute engage. More weight into that right heel. Good. Now start to turn your knee open. Stack through those hips. Keep the shoulders square. And draw big circles with your knee. Bigger. And not, don't go so tiny. Nice and big. Explore the range of motion. Other way. Good. And then start to extend your leg back. Angle the toes downward as you score off through the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Round through your back. More weight in the fingers. And extend. Inhale. Good. Exhale, knee to nose. Round it forward. And extend it back up. We're coming up into high lunge. So nice soft step forward. Arms will reach up to the sky. Good. Imagine yourself kind of rolling your torso in. So I like to think of like two sides of a scroll going inward like that. That helps me get my abdominals the way they're supposed to be. More weight into that front foot and then balance it out by pushing into the ball of the back foot. Good, full breath in. Exhale, swing the arms back. Find your airplane, lift through the chest just a little bit. Stay low in that front foot. Good. Inhale, pull yourself back up. Interlace those fingers. Find Kali Mudra by releasing the pointer finger. Look up. Squeeze the elbows towards the head. Good. Another breath in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Swing this left leg up. Find three-legged dog. And take it to down dog or through your vinyasa. You pick. Very good. Breathe deeply, inhale. And a nice big exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna make our way to Malasana. You can step or hop there, you pick. Bend those knees. Walk, step, or hop. 
feet around the hands. Let your sitting bones go low and lift through your chest as you pull the shoulder blades together. Let's bring more weight into your pinky toes. Good. And start to lean your weight off to the right. Slide that right shoulder into your inner knee and then open up through the arms. Keep rotating that chest up. Good. Back to center, hands to heart. Then lean your way out to the left. Fly those arms open and then try and turn your heart up towards that right hand. Good, right back to center, hands to heart. And exhale, hands down. Let's lift your hips up and toe heel the feet back to be hip width distance apart. Grab onto your big toes, soften the knees so that way you can actually get them. And then lift up through your chest. Try and straighten your legs out any amount, and then start to let yourself hinge forward, pulling the elbows out to the side, but keeping the shoulders in line with collarbones. Good, lift those hips a little higher. Good. And then start to release the grip of the fingers. Walk those big toes together, so that way the feet are touching. Bend through your knees and start to circle the arms up, find chair pose. Uniting the legs together into one unit. Let's roll everything in, just like we were talking about in our lunge there. You don't want your belly splaying out. More weight in your heels, but without sticking your buns out. Good, full breath in. Exhale, swing your arms back, lay the belly on the legs. Good. A little bit more weight into those heels. Stay low and then just start to lift your torso up. Remember in your chair. Good. Relax the shoulders. Take the arms a little wider if you need to. And as you exhale, start to bring your hands down. Shoulder width apart, spread through your fingers. Preparation for curl pose. Let's start to split those knees out. Bring them up into the upper arms here, maybe even into the underarm. Lean your way forward, look forward. Let's see if we can lift our feet up towards our glutes. Good. If you're newer to this pose, it's all about looking forward. If you look down, you're going down. <laughs> so look, imagine there's a ruler, like going vertically from your hands forward. So you would look at the top of the ruler. Good. And make our way back to down dog. So some of you might be able to shoot back. If you do, I want you to pull your chest forward. We'll all meet in down dog. Good. Very nice. Take an inhale through your nose and an exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Left foot steps to the midline. Right leg lifts up to the sky. Open up through your hip like you did before, but let's tilt into wild thing. Rotate your left foot backwards and step your right foot behind that left knee. When I'm reaching up, arcing through the back and let your head tilt backward. Good, full breath in. Exhale, put your hand down, come back to three-legged dog. Good, knee to nose as you exhale, round that body. And extend it back up. Again, knee to nose, round and curl. And extend. We're coming all the way through between our hands, high lunge. Good. Arms circle upward. Good, inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Start to lean our way forward, just like we did before. And then tuck your left elbow over that right thigh. Push into your hands, coming into your revolved crescent. Aririta Anjaneyasana. Good. Start to unwind yourself, arms go up by the ears. 
and exhale, put your hands down, swing that right leg up to the sky, then walk your hands back to your left foot. Finding your standing split. Lifting up, using that right glute. Straighten through that lifted leg. So this is not it. If you need to bend your standing leg, that's okay. Or put something under your hands. Use a stack of books or a block if you have it. Good, another inhale. Exhale, walk it back out. Three-legged dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, step through, we're finding warrior two. So soften that back heel down so that way we have a T-shape, the back foot and the front foot. 90 degree bend of that front leg. Good, soften the shoulders down, levity through the chest. And we'll start to flip the front palm, nice big arc up and over the body, and look up. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Option to go back through vinyasa or simply go back to down dog. Also option for a child's pose if that sounds better. Very good. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Back to Malasana we go. Look forward, lift those heels. Bend the knees as you exhale. Let's bring the feet around the hands. Good. Finding even more length in the torso than we did before. Equal weight in all sides of your feet. And start to lean your weight off to the side, floating that left arm up. You can focus on deepening the rotation upward of the chest, or you might add on a bind, either a half bind by curling this left hand back, or the full bind by reaching around with the right hand, joining those fingers together. You gotta pull that left shoulder back. Good. Let's come back to center, hands to heart. And let's start to lean our way off to the left. Stick with this idea of deepening the rotation from the low waist so I'm not just you know, pulling my shoulder. It's gotta happen from down here, the low belly, if I really wanna make progress. So the spine operates as, a, as one unit, right? Then maybe half bind works, right to the low back, or full bind, you gotta turn your thumb down on that left hand. Good. Try and straighten your arms out, that's tough. Keep your weight in your pinky toes, don't roll it forward and return back to center. Hands will find the floor, lift those hips up, toe heel the feet to parallel. Drop the head, we're gonna slide one hand at a time underneath each foot. Coming into Pada Hastasana, hand to foot pose. Step through your feet, massage out your hands, drop your head, and attempt to get a little bit more weight into the balls of the feet. Obviously not all of it, right? So a little more, that way we get some compression through the hands. Good. And start to release your hands one at a time. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold, bend through your knees, and start to interlace your fingers back behind you with the awkward thumb on top, and then lift the pinky skyward, letting your torso rest on your thighs. Good. Keep the bind of the hands. Start to wiggle those feet together. Soften through the knees. Find chair pose. Good. Much more difficult to find the tuck, right? So you gotta really think about pulling your low belly in. Almost like you can pull your low belly away from your shirt. Good. Arms will sweep up. A little lower. Good. Exhale. Fly the arms back. Get low. Lift those pinkies. How low can you stay as you unfold that torso, come back into vertical? That low belly is tucking in towards the pelvis. And exhale, hands down, option for crow pose again. If you wanna take it. 
And if it's something that you're still struggling with, don't forget to keep those elbows pointing back. That might be a geometrical point that you haven't addressed yet. Because if we have the elbows facing out to the side, it's very difficult to find the proper stack. Take your time. Really curl through those fingertips. Try to get the heels higher in towards the glutes. Good. And we'll make our way back to down dog. So if you shoot back, remember, lift through the chest. That's going to let your feet flick back. Otherwise, it's a simple step back. Good. Meeting in downward facing dog. Right foot steps to the midline. Left leg floats up with ease. Bend through the knee and open your hip up. And we'll start to tip our way into wild thing, Kamat Karasana. Turn the toes towards the back of your mat. Bring the ball of that left foot. Straighten through that right leg. Arc your torso, get your hips higher. Good. Full breath in. Exhale, unwind, find three-legged dog. Lift that left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. And extend, inhale. Good, bring it in. Exhale. One more time, inhale, lift. Stepping through between your hands, find high lunge. Good. Arms reach up to the sky when you get there. Nice and low through the legs. Strong, equal weight distribution. And hands start to come to your heart. Lengthen as you inhale. And then start to lean forward, straighten out through those arms. Right elbow crosses that left leg. Bend through your elbow, push through that left hand. Looking upward. Pull that left shoulder back, don't let it roll forward. Good. Inhale, unwind. Good. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Find that airplane. A little bit more weight in that front foot. Inhale, circle your arms back up. And exhale, hands come down. Left leg swings up to the sky. And walk your hands back towards your foot. So good. Standing split. Lifting through your heel. Good. Straighten that lifted leg. Feel free to bend the base leg if you need to. Pull your belly in, nose to shin. One more inhale. And exhale, walk it out. Find three-legged dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step through, find warrior two. Good. Stable and strong. Good. Flip the front palm, let's reverse. Arcing through those side ribs. Good. Back to center, inhale. Stay low in that front foot. Now turn this back foot in. Find goddess. Good. Sink low. You guys are doing great. Keep those elbows bowing out to the side. Level with the floor. And then start to straighten out. Make a five-pointed star shape. And as you fold forward, turn those toes in. Finding Prasarita Padatanasana. Forehead starts to move its way to be between the knees. Press more through the pinky toes. So that way you feel your sitting bones separate and your hamstrings lengthen. Good. Pull yourself a little bit farther into that knee line. begin to walk those hands back underneath your shoulder. Bend through the left knee. Start to turn yourself back forward. And we're going to come back into down dog or vinyasa. All meeting in a child's pose. So good. Catching your breath.
and we'll start to lift ourselves up just a little bit to thread your right arm underneath you. You can stay low or lift those hips to be over the knees. Good. Unwind that right arm, extend it forward, and then let's bring the left arm underneath you. Very nice. Unhook that arm there. Walk your hands in. Bring the knees together. Start to lift the arms up to the sky. Grab onto opposite elbows and then just lean your head back. Opening through the belly and through the ribs. And exhale, release your hands down. Come back to downward facing dog. Right leg lifting up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your shin forward, find pigeon pose. Flexing through that right foot as best you can. Scoot your back knee back. Lift up through your chest. Find lots of length through the front of your body. And then use that length to fold forward to your comfort. Resquare your hips back off. yourself in the center line rather than sliding off to the right. Unsickle that back foot so the toes face directly backwards. Good. Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toe. Start to lift your right leg up to the sky. Give it a little shake. Good. And we'll put it back down. Left leg lifts up to the sky. And then slide that left shin forward. Finding your pigeon pose here. Flex through that left ankle. Scooch the right knee back. Lots of length through the front of the body. And then take that length forward. Finding your pigeon. Ease your weight back to the center line. Good. Let's start to move our hands back underneath our shoulders. Tuck the toe underneath you. Lift that left leg up to the sky. Give it a little shake. And then let's put the toe down. Walking your feet back up to your hands. And then crouching down into a little tiny ball. Rounding the chin in towards the knees. Doming the back. We'll start to come onto the fingertips. Look forward. Think about softening the heels down a little bit. Squeeze the legs together. Let's see if we can start to balance in our toe stand. Hands come to heart. Shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders. And begin to reach forward. Split the knees. Come on back. Sitting down into boat pose. You can have your knees bent like so. Grab on or extend the legs to straight, whatever works for you. We're gonna take five breaths. Good. Last couple. Lift your chest up. And exhale, put your feet down. Let the knees open up. Inhale, lift up through your chest, squeeze those shoulders together, and exhale, bow forward. Letting your forehead move towards your feet pushing your elbows into your inner knees. Good. Inhale, roll your way back up. Close those knees together and extend the feet forward. Make sure that you have enough room to come all the way down to your back. Just 
reach your arms forward, straighten out through your legs, and we're just gonna unroll ourselves down. So think low back first, deep C curvature of the spine, coming down onto your back. Bringing those feet to be hip width distance apart, knees bent with the heels approaching the glutes. Hands will be right by the hips. Start to push up through your pelvis, lifting up into your bridge pose. You can keep your hands right here by your hips or interlace the hands underneath you and bring the shoulders a little bit closer together. Keep your knees moving towards one another without letting them bow out. So check your buns, don't tweeze them. And then relax those in neutral. Good, another breath in, push the pelvis up just a little higher and exhale, slow release. Unhook your hands and let your knees go side to side. Point the knees back to face forward. You can stick with bridge again, or we can move on to wheel if you wish. Hands would go right by the ears with the elbows facing upward. You took that as the open heart warrior class. Remember, it's all about getting the entire hand onto the floor, because you've got, you know, your wrist is lifting up. You gotta get the whole palm onto the floor before you come up. So let's push through the entire palm, push through the entire foot. Lifting up, you might stop on the crown of the head first. Let your neck start to grow away from the shoulders. Toes face forward. Keep breathing. And let's slowly begin to come down one bone at a time. Maybe stop on the crown of the head first. Unroll the spine. Letting the knees go side to side. <clears throat> Let's bring the knees back to center. Bring that right knee into your chest. Lengthen the left knee out long. Big breath in. Big breath out as you squeeze it in towards the shoulder. Flex your feet strongly. And with an inhale, let your leg go out to the left. Actually, this is your right. <laughs> Bring it out to the right. Left hand goes on your hip. My mind just went to the, the Mexican music downstairs. <laughs> and it's actually quite comforting. Who knew? Who knew that the downstairs restaurant noise would actually feel really wonderful to hear? We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, take your twist. Pulling the knee across the body. Allowing the belly to pull in towards the midline so you can deepen your twist. Good. Let's start to come on back to center. Reach up for your foot. Let's find half happy baby. If you need to replace that left foot on the ground, no problem. Or you can also keep your left leg straight. Okay, let's go ahead and release your right leg down. Arms reach back, take a full breath in. And left knee goes into your chest. Squeeze it in tightly. Both feet flex. Drop that right shoulder. Go ahead, take an inhale here. And exhale, bring your knee out to the left. Right hand finds your right hip. Still stay flexed in the feet. And pull your knee back through center. Exhale, twist. Low belly gets out of your way by pulling in towards the spine. Shoulders are evenly pressing into the earth below. Beautiful. 
Let's roll our way back to center. Reach up for your big toe and find your half happy baby. Feel free to put your right foot back on the ground. And let's join that right foot to find full happy baby. Shoulders relax down away from your jawline and attempt to imprint each bone of your back onto the floor. And you might explore straightening one leg and then the other. And start to bring your feet together to touch. Maybe grab onto the outsides of the feet, pull it in close. You might even lift your forehead up, trying to connect the feet to the head. Full breath in. And exhale, release whatever you have. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, one hand on your heart and one on your belly. And if you're comfortable here, you're welcome to stay just like this for the remainder of our time together or start to straighten things out and come into a traditional Shavasana. Each bone in your body starting to get heavier into your skin. No effort required in the muscles, in the breath, or in the mind. And start to let your hands relax down off of your belly if they're there. If you're already there, you don't need to change a thing. begin to open and close the fingers, wiggle through your toes, and if your knees are out, let's start to bring them together. And if you're hearing my voice say, Casey, I don't want to move on, don't. <laughs> Stay right where you are. Pause the video and be in Shavasana for the rest of the day. <laughs> you have my permission. Arms go back behind you. Straighten out through your legs, point to the toes. And then bring your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side. And tip off to one side, pause there. Use your arm as a pillow. And we'll come up into a comfortable seat. Hands at your heart, cross-legged is great. If that works for you, that works for me. Close your eyes and lean in to gratitude and hope. I wanna thank you again so much for being here for this very special class on our YouTube channel. Um, I cannot wait to be next to all of you in here. It just isn't the same without everybody in here. Um, I really miss you guys, so I can't wait to see everyone happy, healthy, and strong. Um, keep at it. And if you want to continue to support the studio so that way we can continue to be here for when we're finally allowed to reopen, we are so grateful of your business and support. You can use your existing membership. Just let me know if you want to keep your membership active because memberships have been paused unless you opt back in. Um, you're also welcome to obviously leave that on pause and use a different method of, of uh, contributing to the studio for our online classes. You can go onto our website on yogasquare.com and select the online attendance. All you have to do is go to the pricing page or the home page, and there's a clear banner there that says online attendance. That's a $5 donation. If you would prefer to use Venmo or send a different amount, you can go onto Venmo and you would use my name, Casey Merkling, as the, as the handle. That's C-A-S-E-Y-M-E-R-K-L-I-N-G. Or you can go directly through your bank using the Zelle widget in your banking app and you would use yogasquaredstudio at gmail.com for the routing email. Either way, no matter what, we are so excited that you are here and so grateful um, 
I really have no words. The, the support's been amazing. So thank you so much for being here for us so that way we can be here for you. And together we'll get through this out on the other side. Stay healthy and we'll see you soon. Namaste.